Hello everybody, this is Roger from Roger's Reviews, and today we're going to be talking about, it uh, It kind of looks like a potato launcher, Oops. but it's actually, um, one of the guys made this for me, and uh, we have a tree service, and I'm pretty good at throwing a throw ball, I can throw it um, um, up some of the largest trees like some of the trees are over 100 feet <clears throat> and sometimes if the uh, if the branches don't start like 80 90 feet sometimes it's hard especially if you're in an area where um, there's a lot of trees around you don't you have a very limited um, uh, access to take the throw ball it has to be a very uh, straight up trajectory and sometimes it's easier if you have a something like this and um, Adam was able to build this just from parts from Home Depot and uh, basically what it is this is a, he built an air canister here and uh, basically a release valve so um, basically you close the valve and then you can take a uh, a regular hand pump you want something though that can get up and uh, get some good pressure and you take a pump like this you can get it like Walmart or something and you just basically uh, pump it up <clears throat> hook it up to your air valve I don't know I don't have any projectiles in here so um, We've shot uh, a bunch of different stuff, but um, it was mainly designed for a throw ball. So you can see, we're gonna put. I'm just gonna put just a few pounds in here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the camera over here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, can you see that? Okay. See the pressure. Try to get this out of the camera's way so you can see. I'm just going to put like 20 or 30 pounds in here. I'm not sure what the pressure rating is. Of course, the more pressure, the farther the projectile goes. Okay. Then you want to unscrew it pretty quickly. That way you don't you lose much pressure. All right, actually there's some a little bit of leakage right there for some reason. I haven't used it in a while, so maybe that little valve went bad. But um, I just put the cap on it, stop the leak. So I mean, you're gonna pump it up and shoot it right away. So it's not like you're gonna lose that much pressure. Okay, I'm done with this. All right. <clears throat> And just for uh, purpose of, uh, you, you should really put this in first. I'm going to go ahead and deflate this a little bit because I can't get in there. I'm just showing the, I'm inside so I can't really put anything too much in here. But I'm going to go ahead and stick this in here a little bit. At least you can sh see something come out of it. So, again, I'm inside, so um, I can't really put a tennis ball or a racquetball. A racquetball would probably fit in there. So, what you want to do is you want to aim it up in the tree, and then you just pull this valve, and then it shoots out. So, you can hear what it sounds like. That's basically what it sounds like. But Now, I only put like a little over 20, 25 pounds in there, and uh, it really... <clears throat> You have to have something that kind of compresses the air, so when it shoots out, it has something to push against. That was just a little plastic bag, but uh, the more pressure you put in, and the tighter the um, the uh, compression, the farther it's going to shoot, and more accurate it's going to be. So you can basically build these um, from parts you can buy at Home Depot. It's basically plumbing supplies and uh, PVC. PVC glue and some connectors and looks like some pipe dope but this is really really made well Adam did a great job see still had pressure in it 
um, and he taped it up, made it look really cool. I think he got this for my birthday last year. But this is um, just excellent, good craftsmanship, and uh, did it really did a good job. I've had it, like I said, for a year. We've used it a few dozen times. It works really good. And uh, we haven't really overdid did the, the air pressure. This could probably handle a lot more than we're giving it. But we like to be safe because I don't want anything blowing up my face. <laughs> but uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And like I said, um, I can talk to Adam and uh, he can explain exactly how this was made. Or I'm sure you go on other places on YouTube and uh, make one of these yourself. But they're excellent for uh, shooting um, throw balls into the trees. If you don't have uh, a large access and you have a tiny little spot where you have to look really aim and shoot it straight up, these are perfect for it. Okay, this is Roger with Roger's Reviews, and we're talking about the uh, this apparatus that uh, shoots our throw balls into trees. It's kind of like a potato gun, but it's smaller. It's more, it almost is about the size of a, um, probably a, I don't know, golf ball, maybe? Golf ball size? And I don't know if you can see it, but the valve in there, open and close. Again, this is Roger with Roger's Reviews. If you like this review, please crush the like button, subscribe, and we'll bring you more cool gadgets and how to make them. Have a great day.